Hi there, Michelle Crafty Surveys. We're going to make a cute, simple little snowman decoration for your mini trees. So it, it's cute, fun. It's going to be a little snowman. So um, come on, and say hi. Let me know you're out there. I might have just saw some of you on Pinterest TV. I was live over there doing a garland. I can show you what it looks like. But come say hi. Let me know you're out there. Um, let me make sure I'm seeing comments. And then I'll get started because it is not, it's not going to take long, but it's cute little. We're going to do a little painting. And it's just cute little. So, let me see. There we got comments. Hello, Ruthie. How are you? Let's see what we're going to use. All right, fall is going on clearance. It's been on clearance for a long time already at Hobby Lobby. These little spoons. We're going to use one of these little spoons. Hello again, Susie. You made the hop over like I did. Hello, Kathy. So how many of you have these little spoons? They're, I mean, you don't get them just at Hobby Lobby. You can get them other places. Um, thank you, Susan. I appreciate it. I, I think the garland was beautiful. Awesome, Ruthie. You want to see how now some of you are hopping on. I was over on Pinterest Live just now, um, and I made a garland over there. I, well, not the whole thing. I want to make part of it. Let me just show you how beautiful. Isn't it pretty? So that's what I did over there. So if you didn't catch, I'd love if you go catch it um, over there. Celebrating 61st birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Sharon. Hello, Kendra. Isn't it, I, I love it, Kathy. I do. I do think it's really, really pretty. So yeah, I hope you guys go check that out. The replay, I think, will be available later tonight. I think they do it on replay on there. Thank you, Susan. I appreciate. It. I do have some idea pins out there. If you guys don't mind pinning um, or saving the pins, you know, pinning them. Um, I've got some idea pins I did recently too. If you don't mind doing that, I would appreciate it. You still couldn't see it. Oh, Marsha, oh, I'm sorry. I don't know how else to get you there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Thank you, Teresa. I saw you over there. Hello, Marjorie. All right, we're going to do a little tiny little snowman ornament using these fall spoon sets, bamboo sets. I would guess you can get them probably most any time of the year though. This is from Hobby Lobby. These were $3.99 and I know I got them at 60% off. So just these little spoon. He's a little misshaped. He'll still be cute. We'll use that one. Hello artist. All right, let me just see. I think I got everything I need here. It's not going to take much. It's a tiny spoon. It's tiny. All right, we're going to just, we're painting. And then we're going to do a cute little hat for them. See, I don't think I need that color. I'm debating on the color of the cheeks. Um, I have a sample here from last night. I did a color cheek, but I don't know if I'm crazy about it. So we're going to try maybe a different color. But we're going to start with the face, a warm white. A warm white. Any white would do. Hello, Mary Ann. You can't seem to get on Pinterest. Oh, Kathy, we're going to have to get you there. Somehow we're going to have to get you there. Thank you, Grace. I appreciate it. Yeah, I literally just got done. Like 9.30, I got done at, on that Pinterest TV. All right, you don't need much paint at all. That white is going to go a long way, but we will do a couple of coats um of it and i do want i'm gonna do it all the way around but it'll just be a cute little let's see we'll just try and decide what oh i should have grabbed more brushes i guess i'm okay we're okay hello patricia how are you patricia um two sisters in a paintbrush do i have that right 
drop your page. Anybody else out here crafting? Drop your page. I'm terrible at remembering. All right, this is the snowman head. We're painting, painting the head. Just any kind of white will do. I'm also going to go all the way around and paint the back of it. Okay, Kathy, your password wasn't working. Um, yeah, I don't like when you have to do that all the time, especially when you switch, like if you're on your computer and you see a link and you click on it and then it tells you that you're not opening it up in the right way and then it wants a password. I don't always remember them either. But tonight do we have a crazy aunt? No, I don't because I was on Pinterest in case I had to get up from there. No, I have blue jeans. Aha. Uh -huh. Only because I was on Pinterest first because I thought if I have to get up, I can't do that on Pinterest. It seems, it seems more professional on there. I don't know why. On here, I can get away with doing Jeff Dunham puppet. If you didn't see my reel from yesterday, and if you don't know who Jeff Dunham is, um, yeah, so on here I can get away with doing that. I can't do that on Pinterest. Oh, Paula, yeah, can you, can you check it out? How long are they in? This thing just sounds terrible. It's not that old. Yes, you'll get it figured out, Kathy. All right, and now we'll just do another coat. So we're doing going to do a good two coats so it's nice and bright and white. Yeah, I'm going to do all the way around. Might as well. See, it's going to be on a little tree. People can walk around a little tree. Sometimes that's on your tabletop. I decided I wanted to make a few little ornaments to put on my mom's little tree. So this is going to be the first one. And then I also bring some of the beaded ornaments that she had made and my grandma made some of the little ones. All right, this is gonna go so fast. It's gonna be so fast. Thank you, Susan. I definitely appreciate my mom. And it's a different relationship than what you have when you grow up. And you know, when you become more of a caretaker, then well, it's, I always say it's my turn. I'm blessed to do that. No, I'm not much. I have three older brothers. One of my brothers died. Um, but two, I have a very different family. So um, one of my brothers died. I haven't seen him. I didn't see him for a long time. And then he died. Um, but I have one brother who's around here um, who always sees my mom and talks to her and stuff too. Mm -hmm. And then another one a little farther away. It does become a circle. It definitely does. All right, let's make a, um, well, no, let's do the hat next. Black, black, lamp black. Where are you using? This is the snowman. It's just a, it's a snowman, it's a snowman head and half. This is, oh, what am I using? Okay, this is the bamboo, it's little bamboo spoons from the fall collection at Hoppy Lobby from the fall collection. Um, I'm, I would guess they're probably still there or they might be, they might be able to get, get them in different seasons and they'll just be in the Christmas collection then. Um, I would think you could probably get them somewhere somewhere else too. All right, let's do I see I only have a few brushes here. We're gonna do some black. 
98 Marshall. Wow. My mom does come from a family of long Jeopardy and the women. I mean, even my grandma lived, oh gosh, I think she was 97 when she died, and she had lived in her own apartment on her own up until then. So, like, that was, she really was amazing. Um, and her, her sisters, too, they all had longevity. Just Facebook news saying happy birthday. May my name. Aw, so sweet, Sharon. Well, happy birthday again. That was very sweet. All right, this is the top hat. I'm just going to paint it black. He said, This is so easy. You could do this with marker too, permanent marker. Now, if you saw when I was painting, can you see there's that snowman back there on the fireplace? I was painting that yesterday and I used black marker on there. I did, I failed to look if it was permanent black marker. It was not permanent. So when it got wet, it does smear a little. If you use permanent black markers, it doesn't smear. So you could use permanent black marker on here too if you want or permanent markers to do this if you're intimidated by painting or if you don't have paint you can certainly use marker or paint markers and when you paint with black you usually can get away with one coat That's awesome, Ruthie. Pumpkin pie for dessert. Oh, the only time I get pumpkin pie is at Thanksgiving. My daughter-in-law makes the pies. I'm shaking the table. Okay, somebody's on here needing prayers. Um, I am. I look at. Make sure I check that out. Oh gosh, you lean ninety-five and a hundred. Oh. Kathy, I didn't know your birthday was last week. Happy birthday. Kathy is my administrator on, um, or moderator on Crafty Servings Crafting Club page. I didn't know that. Aww. All right, it looks like Shanna's mom needs prayers. We'll definitely check that out. Are they sending prayers? All right, so. Now we're just going to do a face on here. We're going to use a little brush. You could use a Q-tip or something to do the cheeks. I'm going to just start with the cheeks right away. I'm not, I wasn't crazy about the color I used last night. I used blush pink. I thought that would be sort of cute, but I didn't, didn't like it. And this one looks new, so I'm going to open it up. Hello, Peggy. Yes, definitely prayers for everyone. Um, I've been definitely asking for them lately. Um, so, and I know everyone can use them. This sounds really runny. Let's shake it up really well. Oh gosh, Kathy. Well, happy belated birthday. I owe you. All right, okay, that's sort of a nice color pink. Look how, look at that, can you tell on top of all my other colors? A nice little light pink. Let's just try and see what that's gonna look like. So I'm just gonna try and dab a little, little circle cheeks. Oh, I like that color. I like that better than what I used last night. And if you don't like it, if you don't like it, then you just paint over it. I'm just using a tiny little brush and sort of scruffing it in. You can circle it if you want. Yeah, 
yeah, it's sort of cute. I like this color. I like it better than mine from last night. There's the cheeks. So again, if you didn't watch Pinterest TV tonight, I was on there. Gail and I did a Christmas garland. I used fabric, um, Christmas fabrics that I showed the other night in a tree. Um, well, I showed a different fabric that I made in the tree on here, but I also showed a tree with those fabrics. So, all right, cute little cheeks. We're gonna use a tiny little brush. Good thing I got that here. Um, for the black, now we're gonna do, oh, let's do a nose first. Let's use persimmon. That's one of my favorite oranges, I think, for like carrot and noses. Thank you, Jody. I, didn't, I can't put it up yet though. I still have my leaf one up, which I hate taking down. I love that leaf one. I have the thankful one from last week. I can't put Christmas on top of that. So uh, we're, we're gonna have to leave that for a little bit. All right, so let's, let's see the direction I wanna do for the nose. I'm just gonna start in the middle and do like a half, sort of like a arch. And then decide the direction you want the nose to go and just do a triangle. Just, just like, a, like that. Thanks, Kathy. That replay may not be available till later. And last week when I did the replay on Friday night, I did it at 10 o'clock last Friday night. Um, there were technical difficulties. It still wasn't on as a Monday, which the last time that I did it before that, it was on like an hour or two later. Um, but they had technical difficulties and they didn't even know it wasn't showing up. So then they put it on. I think it got on finally on Wednesday. So hopefully it'll be on later tonight. Hello, Mary Lou. I know you caught me live. I, I recognize your hearts and exclamation points. All right, let's go back to the black now with that skinny, and we're going to do just two little eyes. Again, you can use marker if you want. Um, let's do, I'm not going to do round eyes, I think. Unless it doesn't turn out, then I'll take them and make them round. I don't know. Well, that's sort of cute. All right, let's do mouth. Um, should we do a coal mouth? Let's do. Actually, I'm going to do a line mouth. You can certainly do your little dots for the mouth too. But I just did a little line. Um, maybe we'll do little um, eyebrows. If you don't like them, we paint over them. It was cold here today, too. You know, yesterday it was 70 degrees here. Today the high was in the 30s. 40 degree drop. Yeah, it's. I think everybody's getting that. I see your post, Vicki. Hello, Vicki. I see you. Thanks, Patricia. I don't know if I should call you Patty or Patricia. See, they're seeing you, Vicki. See, and if I don't comment, I am sorry. I know people will call me out on it and they send me messages sometimes asking why I don't respond to them on here. I see like one or two messages at a time on my phone when I'm on live. So when people are commenting like this, a lot of times I don't even see it because it's gone before I can even look up. So I apologize to those people, but I can't help that and I can't 
say something every for every single comment or people get mad at me because I talk too much I get that too I don't know okay I'm just doing a little highlighting in the middle of this nose um, I don't really like it I think I like the nose I'm gonna put some more orange on it again too I don't like that on there um, we'll go back and add a little more of this orange Okay, I think that's good. Good enough. Good enough. Now we're going to do the hat and a little decorating and we're done. It's so easy. It's, it's so easy. But you, I try and comment later, but you know what? There's a lot of comments that are hidden from us. When we go back and try and comment, there's a lot that are hidden from us. And sometimes we get limited on what we can comment back. So, it, I mean, we get limited sometimes. It's not always our fault, you know, so we do our best. But, you know, when you have, like, hundreds or sometimes, you know, like, yeah, hundreds of comments, you don't necessarily always get to see all of them. All right, so let's do the hat. Uh-oh. Did I not grab what I need? Oh, man. I got to get up. I gotta get up. I'm sorry. Okay, where'd I put it? I thought I had everything and I didn't. We need felt. We need felt. And we need this fabric. Sometimes me when my comment gets my response. My name is so unusual. No one wants to say it. Can I say it? Let me see what it is. Oh. I lost well, not Isley. <laughs> is it Isley? I mean normally Isley is spelled different. Is it Isley? Yeah, Patricia, we all get that right. You're exactly right on that. And especially I get that when I replays even. When you can fast forward them or when you can hit the stop. I mean, you're in control. All right, so I'm just taking a piece of black felt. We're going to make it a circle the best we can. Patricia, thank you so much for the stars. Il, Ilsu, Ilsu, Ilsu. Is it, am I saying that right? Ilsu. It, 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 that's that is unusual I am sorry I won't remember that the next time but I will try I I'm gonna say I'm gonna try though so you can comment all right so I'm doing the best circle that I can it's a little lopsided A little lopsided and then I'm just going to cut a little without trying to cut myself were you on my live yesterday <laughs> that was bad yes when she has a hundred yeah it's hard sometimes you know so I I don't deliberately try and be rude and that's what I was asked one time are you deliberately trying to be rude and not comment and how many people do you do that too um, I got that <laughs> In a private message. Uh, I've got several of them, but you do what you can do. All right, so I literally just did an X in the middle so that I can get this to slide on here. It's not big enough, you gotta go back and cut it again. They look at cute. So this is for those little mini trees. All right, I'm just gonna, oh. Well, I've got the little buttons left from the last live. I could probably use one of those little buttons on here. I was going to say, I don't have my buttons out here. All right, let's just do, let's see where we can tear. Find an end here. We're going to do, without cutting me, Diane, thank you for the stars. 
it is fun talking to people, Patricia. You know that too. You enjoy talking to people when you're live. All right, I'm just cut. I'm just tearing. <laughs> gonna try and tear I'm too tough for it see if your fabric is crooked it will do that I thought I would have let's try this one I tore some yesterday so there should be a straight side somewhere there we go it's probably plenty looks pretty ratty, doesn't it? It's all right. You can get some of those strings off if you don't like them, and you can cut it if you don't like it. But I like rustic. I like primitive. So just to do a little something like this to add in with this cute little snowman will work for it. All right, so we're going to do a little bow up here, and we're going to do a little scarf for them. And then we're going to put a hanger on, and we're going to be done. All right, so for the bow, I'm just going to do... <laughs> real, real raggy bow here. We'll do, I think, probably three of these. That'll be cute. That'll be cute. And we're going to tie it together. Oops, our jute. I don't think this is going to hold. It's coming out. <laughs> yes, you can leave snowmen up for a long time, right? You can leave snowmen up for a long time. Okay, let's try this again. Was well, somebody else threw stars out there? Thank you, but thank you very much. I use the stars to help offset some of the random act of kindness gifts. Um, I still would do them though, so I don't expect it um, in the postage and stuff, but all right, I'll just tie it on. So this is the cute little bow for the hat. <laughs> this is a really ratty one. keep my fingers out of the or keep my hand out of the way so I don't cut me. <laughs> you want to know how I did it? it was there was a button that needed a back cut off of it and I didn't want that back to fly so I'm sitting here like this with the scissor cutting and I just I, I cut. I got the back out that button though and it didn't fly. All right so then for the scarf this is going to go up on here. It's just a cute little thing. With scarf, I'm just going to tie in a little bit of a, a like you would start a, a scarf. Let's see. Do I need to do two? I might need a little wider, too. I mean, I might need a little wider bottom. That might work. No, we need a, we need a wider, a wider scarf. This, that's not going to keep them warm. Oh, they would be cute on Christmas packages. And I'll show you the little hanger. It'll be easy. All right, we need a wider scarf. If I can find that piece that I tore on just now, that would be wonderful. It must be here. Hello, Peggy. All right, that'll work better. And I like using homespun because it's the same on both sides. All right, now I'm just going to tie it like you're going to start tying a shoe or like you, you tie a scarf and leave it a little looser. And that's your little knot. I have to trim some off but so there's that little little knot here the little opening there I, I mean it wasn't even a knot that I did I just did one tie I'm just gonna have that stuck right in there like that and then we'll trim them up
See, you don't even have to do anything to the hat to keep him on, to keep that on. Blue hanging across it though here. Pretty ratty here. And I just tied it a little bit tighter now. My very sharp scissor <laughs> that cut me. Isn't he cute? Where'd my, uh oh. What did I do? Oh, here it is. I was <laughs> say, what did I do with my bubble? A little dab of blue for this. Dab right on here. Like I said, if you don't like all the extra strings, you can certainly just do cutting. Got that. Now, because I don't have my whole big bin of buttons, we're going to take this little one here. Thank you, Sherry. Tiny, it's got a tiny. You know, there was one I didn't want to use before. Just, no, that one won't show. We have little gold ones in here. That would be cute. We could do gold, but I I need gold to finish off my my garland. I think my mom will like it on her tree. Yes, I think so. Just gonna put a little dab of glue on here. Put that on there. Now the hanger, because it's so little, isn't it cute? All right, I'm just going to use a piece of jute. I'm gonna tie, you know, normally, and, and I'll cut that shorter. So this, okay, that's a fat piece there. Cut that off. All right, normally when I do a tie, I'll like fold it in half, just like for the garlands hanging up, I'll fold it in half. And then I'll just loop that through like that, which is what I'm going to do. And that gives you, now you want to leave it tall enough for either the hook or for if you want to hang it right on the branch. I'm going to pull that nice and tight. And then I'm going to cut off that one pretty short. And then we're going to do this. This is what I'm going to glue down the back of the stem of this, where we don't need it all the way down. We only need a little ways. Just run a bead of glue down this back. Lay that on there without burning yourself. And then we're going to be done. Um, if somebody asks, I see somebody answered Hobby Lobby. Thank you for answering. I believe you probably were asking where these little spoons are from. Yes, Hobby Lobby. That. There's six of them in a bag. They're on they're on clearance right now in the fall, so look for them in clearance. But um look at how sweet is he. So these will be perfect on those little mini trees. How do you like it? You know what? We're gonna do a random act of kindness drawing. Somebody's gonna get one of these, so you better start commenting. I appreciate some passing on too. 
All right, I, I won't say that's a stipulation. I'm just going to scroll. But somebody's going to get one of these. All right, so let's get some comments out there. Tell me if you love them. Tell me if you want one. And I'm going to scroll and pick a name so somebody's going to get one because I have another one sitting here. I practiced this. One's going to mom's and one is going to be given away right now. So let's take a minute and you guys just start commenting in there. Oh, you need a Hobby Lobby up there, Linda. You really do. Thank you, Janice. Thank you, Vicki. Yeah, so, so comment, 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 because I'm going to scroll those comments and pick a name. So this one is going by Mom. Let me show you the other. The other one is cute, too, though. This one's going by Mom. I like the mouth on this one. I like it on this one, too, but this one... Where this is the other one I did last night. So he's just as cute. Each one will have their own personality when you make them. So this one is going to someone. So, all right, Irene is ready. Oh, you have a little tree. Awesome, Terry. So do that. All right. So I'm going to scroll and scroll up and down. Now, if I see if it comes across, and I say this all the time, if it just says is watching, that only means that I can see that somebody's watching, but that doesn't mean the comment. So then I scroll to the next name. So that's what it's going to be. So I'm going to scroll up and down and up and down in this back little ways where people have been commenting, okay? So, and I won't look. Scroll up. I just don't want the comments to go away, all right? Up and down, up and down, up and down, and point. Charlotte, Be Charlotte Biggis, B-E-G-I-S. I know I probably butchered your name. Private message me your mailing address and tell me that you won the snowman and you're going to get this little guy in the mail. All right. So thank you everybody for coming on. Oh, have fun with your granddaughter with these. Yeah, it'd be so fun. And like I said, use markers. If you have younger ones, use markers with younger kids. If You know, um, you can use uh, for even little kids. Get the markers out. They can, they can do that. So, um, all right. Thanks, everybody, for coming on. I appreciate it. It didn't even take that long, did it? It was a pretty good one. So... I thank you all for, I've been asking for prayers. Um, they're starting to work. Um, I haven't been saying what it was for, but I will soon. But they're starting to work. So please just keep saying prayers. Say prayers for everybody who needs them on here. Um, anybody who needs them. So, well, welcome. Sheer impressions. Welcome. So um, thanks, everybody, for coming back on. And, and I'm going to be on a lot more now again. I haven't been on for quite a while. Um, just recently, I started coming on again. So, um, oh, Kiss Casual, he's already sleeping. We'll let him sleep, and maybe tomorrow, okay? All right, y'all have a good night. Okay.